This is by far the most impressive trading view indicator I have ever seen. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is to open up a clean chart in TradingView. Right now, as I'm speaking, I'm looking at gold on a daily time frame. Now we're ready to open up the indicator. So we go up here to the indicators tab. And what we want to search for here is DIY custom strategy builder. And we wanna go down here and open up the indicator created by CPIAB. And if you don't see the indicator popping up, don't worry, it takes a while to load. If you see this icon right here, you know that the indicator is currently loading. When the loading is over, your chart should look something like this. Now guys, let's take a look at how to use the indicator. So we go up here to the upper right corner and we press the settings tab right here and as you guys can see this settings tab is absolutely crazy it's the longest settings tab i have ever seen but don't worry guys i will keep this short and walk you through exactly how this indicator works the very first settings you can keep as they are from the beginning and uh, what i like to do however is to disable the show dashboard this will make the dashboard in the bottom right corner disappear and next if we scroll down a bit here you can see that we have the main indicator and this is the main buy and sell signal for this indicator. This is the most important setting. And as you can see, if we take a look at what the different indicators we can use, you can see that we have tons of different indicators we can use here as our main signals. We have some classic indicators such as the RSI and the MACD indicator, but these ones are usually not good as the main signal. We also have things such as VWAP, Stochastic, and in certain situations and for certain strategies, all of these indicators can be used. But two of my favorite indicators for the main signals is either the super trend signal, which we have right here, or the range filter. And for this specific trading strategy, we want to use the range filter. The range filter gives buy and sell signals based on the volatility of the market. So the indicator basically tries to reduce all the noise in the market and find short and long signals based on significant movements. And this right here is a great option for the main signal. Perhaps this is why the creator of this indicator shows to have the range filter here on the top. I really do like this one. Now guys, we want to scroll down here in the settings tab until you go down here to the switchboard. And what this setting basically does is that you can choose to hide or show specific indicators on the chart. So you can, for example, see that currently we have the supply and demand zones on the chart. So if we uncheck this one, you will have to let it load for a while. You can see that the supply and demand zones just disappeared from the chart. But for this trading strategy, we actually want to use the supply and the month zone so make sure to check this one and remember guys since we are us using the range filter as our main signal we also want to show the range filter here on the chart so make sure to check the range filter option right here and now as you can see the range filter appeared here on the chart now let's scroll up a bit here to a very important part of the settings and this is the confirmation indicators or the filters and the confirmation indicators are basically additional indicators or additional conditions that we need to have in order to produce a buy or sell signal. So you can for example see that right now we have the RQK indicator as an additional filter. We can actually uncheck this one for now. We will not use this one in our current trading strategy. But just to show you guys, let's say that we wanna have an exponential moving average as the filter. So if we, for example, set the exponential moving average to 100 as the filter right here, that means that we will only get the long signals if the price is above the 100 day EMA, and we will only get short signals if the price is below the 100 day moving average. So just to show you guys this, let's check the EMA filter right here. And let's also go down here to the settings below the switchboard, which says moving average line right here. And we want to uncheck all the moving averages except for one. And we want to choose 
this one as 100 right here. And now you can see my indicator is loading, so nothing is showing up right now. Okay, so one more thing we need to do here in order to get the moving average to show on the chart is that we need to go up to the switchboard once again, and we need to check the exponential moving average. So now, as you can see, the moving average has appeared here on the chart. And let's take a look at how this affects the indicator. So we press OK right here. And now I want to show you guys something very interesting. So as you can see, remember guys, let's take a look at this first long signal right here. You can first of all see that the indicator automatically produces long and also short signals. You could, for example, see that we have a short signal right here. But one thing you will notice, remember that now we only get long signals if the price closes above the moving average. So if the price closes above this line right here. And you can see that before we had this filter, we actually saw, you can see the line is green right here. So the long signal was all the way down here. So you can see that the filter here basically delayed this long signal. Uh, so in many cases, this can actually be a bad thing. And I want to show you guys an even more clear example right here. So before having the moving average filter, we actually had a short signal all the way up here. You can see that by looking at the red line, which is the range filter. But now, since we have the moving average, remember guys that we only get a sell signal if the price closes below the moving average. So in this case, you can see that the short signal got delayed from all the way up here to all the way down here. So you can see that in this case, this filter actually made this signal much worse. So let's go back here to the settings tab right here. And the reason I showed you guys this is that the confirmation indicators can in some situations be good and useful. But in many cases, especially if you use many filters, this will actually lead to worse signals and many false signals. So when you choose your confirmation indicators, you need to carefully craft your strategy. And for this specific trading strategy, I don't want to use an exponential moving average filter. I'm in general not a very big fan of moving averages. And for this trading strategy, I don't think it makes sense. But guys, if you have the time, I definitely recommend you guys to read up on the confirmation indicators because they can definitely improve your trading strategy. But for this specific trading strategy, we don't want to use any confirmation indicator. Now guys, let's scroll down here. We want to scroll down all the way down here to our range filter indicator. So remember, the range filter is our main signal. And here we can actually change the settings of the range filter. I'm not gonna do too much here, but I'm gonna change the period to 50. This is basically the look back period that the indicator uses to measure volatility. The source for this one, uh, you could go for the open high low close four, but I'm just gonna keep it at close 50. I wanna keep it very simple. Uh, multiplier here, you can keep at three. And for the rest of the settings here, you can actually keep them as they are. Because I don't wanna make this video too long, I want to keep it simple here, and this trading strategy is good on its own. And also guys, since we're not using the exponential moving average, we can uncheck this one, we can uncheck show market sessions, and we can also uncheck the PVSRA. So as you can see, now the moving average disappeared and now the candles are once again green and red instead of gray. But this is exactly what we want. Uh, so for now, we're actually ready to press O. All right, okay, so one indicator that we did not use in this video was the moving average. And if you want to learn more about moving averages and why I many times don't use them, I highly recommend you all to watch this video about moving averages next.